Om Shanti, welcome back and now we are doing the recording of 5th of October that is today's Tashera so I hope you enjoyed the Tashera very well and you understood from yesterday's blessing what is the real meaning of the Tashera so today God wants us to become a Karma Yogi now when we are in connection with God and doing our Karma that's the time we become powerful and we don't make wrong choices as much as possible. It depends upon our complete pure connection with the infinity. If suppose we are body conscious, then lust and anger and greed can take over and we can make wrong decisions. You know, uh, Satan or Ravan has got many forms. It's been mentioned even in Quran that, you know, Shaitan or the Satan can take many forms and deceive you. And even in Bhagavad Gita and even in Guru Granth Sahib and many scriptures, he's, it's been mentioned that Maya, it's difficult to recognize maya or difficult to recognize the impurities within us. But when we are in karma yoga, when we are in connection with God, that's the time we can see maya through. We can make out what the person or the situation is trying to do to invoke those impure feelings within us. And then we can protect us or stay away from those situations. So here, may you be a karma yogi and constantly experience the flying stage with your wings of zeal and enthusiasm. Now this is very important. Zeal and enthusiasm are the wings of you Brahmins for the flying stage. Brahmin is somebody who is detached from worldly desires and that's why able to make right decisions while being in the world and doing things so that it helps other people. Even if you come down to do some work, come down means on from a higher stage to a lower stage. That means you are coming into body consciousness you're thinking about worldly materialistic things in life and you have to come down from a higher stage God says it is in the flying stage and as a karma yogi that you come down that means you are still connected to the supreme creator but you're thinking about worldly things okay I have to get this thing done I have to get the construction done I have to make the people do this work or I have to buy this thing or I have to buy that thing or I have to go to the office or I have to get things cleaned over here anything what you're thinking about anything it can be anything it can be a business deal it can be a it can be a corporate work it can be an NGO work it can be anything which you're thinking about you can still do it while being in connection with the supreme so that your decisions don't delay things in your life God then says zeal and enthusiasm are very great powers for Brahmins your lives are not dry you know people think that once you become spiritual it becomes very dry very monotonous and you are a sad person, you don't party, you don't drink, you don't eat non-vegetarian food, you don't meet up a lot of friends, you don't you don't do the normal things which people do, right? But then, when you become a yogi, you realize once you're connected to the supreme infinite being and you're doing your work, daily mundane work, you are in full of zeal and enthusiasm and nothing pulls you down, nobody pulls you down. Zeal and enthusiasm are very great powers for Brahmins. Your lives are not dry, but you have the sweetness of zeal and enthusiasm and so you can never become disheartened. But remain constantly happy-hearted. No material things, no material aspects of your life can make you disheartened. That's the power of spirituality. And you're still on your path to achieve success. God says, zeal and enthusiasm make storms into a gift. Zeal and enthusiasm make storms into a gift and enable you to experience stress and problems as entertainment. When you're detached from an outcome, when you really don't want to become successful, you're not desiring it so badly to become successful in any task, you're just enjoying it. You find it like a game. But when you're too serious to achieve that success, to complete that task too serious, that's the time even a small thing, if it stops you to move ahead, irritation, frustration comes in. And that's where God leaves you. Or you leave God. Whatsoever it is. God doesn't leave you actually, but you leave God. So God says then, but remain constantly happy hearted. Zeal and enthusiasm makes, makes storms into a gift and enable you to experience tests and problems as entertainment. How do you do that? Is what you learn in Prama Kumari's spiritual university. And if you want to learn more about it in details, by the way, how your mind, how your body and how your 
energies around your work, then join the 15th of October session. One hour session. If you want the link, I'll be displaying the WhatsApp number down over here. You can check out the link and you can WhatsApp me. I'll send you the link for the group where you'll get the Zoom meeting invitation with this Om Shanti.